In this course, we will learn about the finite element method. Finite element method is nothing but a numerical method which is used to solve partial differential equations. And many of you would be aware that several physical phenomena like heat transfer, mass transfer, or elastic deformations, etc., can be modeled using several partial differential equations of different kinds. And many of you would have perhaps also learned about something called a finite difference method which is one of the very common numerical methods uh, for solving partial differential equations where the basic idea is that the derivatives like du by dx in this case are approximated as a difference. So a derivative is approximated as a difference. Uh, and for this reason, uh, the finite difference method is able to use uh, the usual form of a partial differential equation. Now, finite element method uh, uses a different formulation. Okay. So, it will not use the actual form of a partial differential equation uh, where it appears in these derivative forms, but it will use an equivalent version of the same formulation and these two equivalent forms are usually called either these are the energy forms or these are the so called weak forms weak or virtual work forms okay so before we actually get into learning the details of the finite element method first order of business for us is to learn about what are these different forms in which a particular physical problem can be represented? And as such, uh, there are few things which I would expect that uh, you would be aware of uh, before you can truly appreciate through the uh, these lectures. Uh, one of them is basic linear algebra. Second is PDEs, uh, partial differential equations. And uh, I am assuming that these are all covered in your basic math courses that you would have taken earlier. Then numerical methods. So numerical methods like uh, I mean, find a difference method, for example, is a numerical method, which I assume you would have learned. And then there are uh, methods to solve system of linear equations like the LU decomposition or you know Gauss elimination, Gauss Riddle method, and things like that. Okay, uh, so these are sort of the mathematical preliminaries. Uh, I am also hoping that you would have taken a course, let's say, in mechanics of solids. and preferably one on basic thermodynamics. So when I say you would have taken a course in mechanics of solid, what it means is that I would expect that you know how to, uh, you know, define stress and state states uh, for a system. How are these related? What are constitutive relations? Uh, you know, how to write the governing equations for an, for an elastic body and things like that. And similarly for thermodynamics, I would expect that you would have heard about Fourier's law. Uh, you know how to formulate uh, a heat conduction problem, uh, be it static or transient. Okay. So these are some of the basic things which I'm expecting uh, you already have a background of. Uh, and if you don't, make sure you revise uh, you know, some of these things before proceeding further because we will be heavily relying on the content that you would have learned in these courses or these topics uh, before we actually start learning about the finite element method. 